Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo and today we're going to see how an Azure function will interact with the Power App. In order to do this, we're going to change a Logic App and we're going to create from scratch a model-driven app on Power Apps. So stay around. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the portal, not the Azure portal, but the Power Apps portal. You can register as well for free on this one and you can create your own uh, solutions. So let's go to the sites. The link it's on the description, not the Azure this one. The link it's make.powerapps.com. And here we're going to create a power app. In this case, a, a model driven app. But to follow the best practice, we should create first a solution. And inside of that solution, we're going to add our power app. So there are actually two ways to do this. One is to create the model driven app and then add to the solution, or we can create the solution and add uh, the new model driven app in the solution. So we're going to do the, that way. We're going to first create here a new solution. We're going to call demo videos. The publisher, we need to create this in order to have our own alias in the front of each entity that we create. In this case, an entity is going to be like a, a table. We hit create. And now we're going to demo videos and we're going to add a new, add a new canvas and model driven app. And now we're going to jump for the model driven app. For my model driven app, I'm going to give exactly the same name of my solution because I can import or export the solution to another system uh, or another environment and all everything is going to be seated on uh, demo videos. Uh, I can add more stuff to my solution, but in this case, we're going to stick with just this solution with this uh, model driven app. Uh, we're going to see this in further videos. So now this doesn't matter let's do done so now we're going here to entities you're going to create a new one so by default CRM or CDS already has a few uh, entities already created uh, like contacts accounts etc uh, here we're going to create one specific just for my videos Let's call it YouTube videos. Actually, this is singular if you're it's plural. Ownership user. Okay. Here for this, for the example that we're doing here, I'm not going to do anything of what is below. So just save. It's creating now the entity and now we're going to change the form the form is where we are going to add the fields that we want actually there's another way as well we can create first the fields and then add those fields into the form this is now it's going to take a while so the entity now it's created and what we're going to do is to add the new fields that we need so here we have already a bunch of fields here, this one, actually the name, is the one I'm going to use as name. Um, and I'm going to add a new one, which is going to be the URL. Which are the two fields that I'm creating or passing on the uh, Azure function. Once again, if you want to see more information on how to create the Azure function with the Logic App, I recommend to see the previous videos. The link is on the description. So single test actually we're going to put this as URL here uh, as you can see we have a bunch of types or that we can use so an open open sets uh, two options a boolean image etc so on and so on I'm not going deep in the details of each field uh, this is not a, actually a course of CRM or a power app this is more how you can see the integration with all the systems within Azure and actually um, power apps so let's go save this save and close and now we're going to our form so we can visualize the fields that we just created and we're going to drag this here over here 
So here it's exactly the same thing as just publish. Okay. Save and close. Save and close. And now we're going to drag our entity here. Oops, this one. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Now that we have the entity here, what we're going to do, we're going to here to the sitemap so we can see actually the entity and we're going to select the entity, which is going to be which is going to be the YouTube video. Well, default. OK, save. Publish. So after we add the entity into the sitemap, we're going to check in the form if the new fields are in the form. I'm going to switch this to classic. I'm already used to, to classic. And we have here the URL. I'm going to publish this. Then close and when this quick view form information as well. Switch the galaxy. And add here the, the URL just underneath this. Save, publish. Now I'm going to the views, do exactly the same thing, active views, okay, here, and columns attributes, URL I'm going to put here, save, save and close, I forgot to publish, let's go again, publish, Save and close, and now validate, no errors, doesn't mind that one. Okay, and now we can go and hit play. So we have now the URL and the name, let's create here a new record. Let's create here um, Peter Parker. And HTTPS. Comics.com. Save and close. And we have the record here. So now that we finished the model driven app, we're going to jump into the logic app. So let's go here. Once again, this one is the one is going to call. What we want to change is this one, the main one. We're going to the logic app designer and on the condition. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm not going to create the on true. I'm going to create this false because my function is going to be called with the Stewie and it's going to look into Yugo. Yugo doesn't exist on the function that's being called. So I'm going to create here as false and I'm going to put the field. So what we're going to do here as an example is if the record doesn't exist, I'm going to create a new record. Since the table that I've created as YouTube videos was created on a model driven app, what's going to happen? This now belongs to the common data service. So what I'm going to do to write here common data service. Go create a new record. I'm going to sign in. And now I'm going to select the environments and I should have here now the entity. It's here two videos so we're going to have a parameter which is URL and that's it because name we already have here name we're going to select here from the Azure function and we're going to put here the URL now we're going to hit save we put run 
and now we're going to call our main logic app which will be here we're just going to enable this we're going to run the trigger let's hit refresh here okay successful and now let's go check the logic app and we have here Stewie Griffin created so actually this was the record that is on the logic app on the main one that's call if I go here this information it's right here so um, which is going to call the the Azure function and then the, the logic app as you can see here we have a complete integration from Azure function logic app and a power app so if you like this video please click on the button and don't forget to subscribe to receive more information to receive more updated videos the next video that I'm going to build is to create an integration with Azure function with a mobile app so don't forget to subscribe to receive that information and once again thank you and cheers